Hey YouTubers, uh, just an update. I uh, don't think I've actually posted anything about this yet. You can see that I've got uh, a gizmo built here. What I did was take some 4 inch PVC. This is the lightweight PVC drain line and a bunch of uh, 90 degree L's and I've got everything at a little bit of an incline and you can see that there's water running through here. I look down into the thing here and you can see a little bit of water. Maybe if I give you a better angle you can see the little bit of a rivulet of water. What I have is it all drains back down into this 18 gallon tote and this is uh, using uh, Master Blend which is a blend of I think nitrogen, potassium, and magnesium. I'll have to check that for you later. I'll put it in the link if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, or a link in the description or something like that. But anyway, I've got so far uh, picked up five uh, romaine lettuce plants. And I ended up, you can see that we've got these little uh, plastic cups here. These are just regular old 32 ounce storage cups. I had a lot of them. So I went ahead and used them. And then we've got these clay pellets that I had purchased before for hydroponic growing. Uh, and you can see that what I did was drilled holes in the bottom and then ran a uh, cotton rope through there. And so what it's doing is wicking moisture back up in there. And the more I thought, now this first one, I'm gonna say it was this one here was the first one that I did. And uh, I washed the root ball pretty well. It was a uh, Bonnie is the, is the brand and it was an organic. Uh, so what I did was washed the root ball pretty well and put the root ball as far down into the bottom of the cup as I could and then surrounded the whole thing with the clay balls. And then I realized, why am I washing the root ball? So what I did was just took the other four, <clears throat> and here you can still see there's a bunch of the dirt. So the whole thing was uh, about, about this big around, and then the cup is like this big around, this big around. <clears throat> so anyway... I put the root ball down in the bottom and then put uh, the clay balls around it to, uh, or expanded clay balls, whatever they call them, and uh, did that to just hold it in place. And so now, hopefully, you look down in here, you can see that that rope is pretty wet, and so I'm trusting that it is wicking moisture back up in there. I'm going to have a little, like, 20 gallon an hour pump down inside this uh, container. Uh, I used uh, like two and a half teaspoons of the master blend to five gallons of water and then you can see the tube just kind of laying there right now and then it comes up and dumps in here and you might be able to hear the the water trickling back down in there and so uh, I got a pH meter and I'll start checking the pH in a day or two here but this is actually rainwater we capture rainwater uh, and so I use rainwater, so the pH should be pretty good. Okay, so uh, I drilled, uh, using a 4-inch hole saw, drilled holes in the top here, and then on each of the uh, lower down uh, runs, whatever you want to call it, uh, pipes, whatever. And uh, ultimately, hopefully, I'll have 35 plants in here. I only got five of these lettuce because my experience with this stuff is that it will just keep growing you can harvest individual leaves and another one will grow yet another one will grow so if we had uh, 10 or 15 lettuce then that would do us for, as a family for lettuce on an ongoing basis and and this is outside I actually have a grow light that I was going to suspend above it and keep it indoors but uh, the weather is so nice this is March the 8th I think it is 2020 and uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the frame I got some two by threes and uh, cut they were eight feet long so I cut them in half and created just a square with a little bit of a dra a little bit of a uh, support brace there you go the brace is the word I'm looking for to help maintain uh, the thing in a in a square fashion it, it's squared and then uh, up underneath here where the top connects, what I did was put, uh, you might be able to see it under here, I put a, uh, a hinge. And so I just screwed the hinge together and then I folded them. And down at the bottom I have a small piece of chain that just keeps them from coming too wide open. It's a very, very lightweight system. Even uh, what I want to do is set it up so that I've got... Uh, 
a, a platform that the water sits on so that if I have to, I can move it around. I can put wheels on it uh, later on and then uh, roll it, roll it in or out or do whatever, whatever I need to do with it. But uh, that'll be a project for another day. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my report. I hope you uh, liked it. And uh, there are a lot of good videos out there. MHP Gardener is one of the best, although there is another guy that did a system very much like this one that uh, you can get some hints for on how to build one.